This is a list of resources for learning Python for beginners. We're going to first of all talk about installing or using Python for the very first time. The thing I'd recommend is uh, go down to the links that I have below posted on this video and just go through these links as I do as well. The very first thing is just to go to this try.jupyter.org and, uh, and go ahead and open that and that'll bring up a Python notebook for you. So this is hosted uh, on the internet and if you just select uh, welcome to Python uh, it'll open it up and then you can uh, start working with a Python notebook right away. So here's an example one. You can also, if you select this link, you can also open up just a blank one if you go over to the right and select new and then you can scroll down to a Python 2 or a Python 3 notebook. So this is the very uh, fastest way to get started with Python. Now when you get past kind of the introduction level, you're going to want to install Python on your own computer. And so there are a couple different uh, there are a couple different options for that. The first one might be Anaconda. Okay, so Anaconda is a complete package uh, that includes many of the commonly used uh, modules or um, packages that are in Python. Um, PyCharm is also very nice. Uh, it isn't free for commercial use, uh, but for academia, it is free. Another way to install Python is just go to uh, python.org and uh, and uh, then you have to install either through pip or through conda. Conda is just for anaconda only, uh, but pip would be the way to install this uh, and there are more uh, details on getting started here at this uh, at my course website uh, with videos and tutorials on how to install Python. Um, both with Anaconda and also through python.org. Okay, so that's uh, another resource. Uh, there are also a number of courses that are available for Python. I just highlighted the one that I teach here. This is for scientists and engineers. We teach it in chemical engineering. Uh, but the, depending on what you want to do with Python, there might be a better course for you. So there's also the MIT edX course. Um, Coursera has a number of them. Uh, uh, you know, if you just query uh, Python, let me go ahead and just open this one. Um, okay, so here is the Coursera, and it looks like I opened two of those. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna come back to this one. Okay, Python for everybody, all the way down. Okay, so I just searched on Coursera for Python and you can see a number of Python courses that are available there. Okay, you can go to Code Academy as well. That's another uh, good site. Um, you know, for beginners, you have the Grok Learning. First two modules are free. And Thought is good. Uh, again, not free, but a uh, very good resource for Python learning. Um, there's also just this Python uh, video right here on YouTube. It's about 40 or so minutes long, and it's learning Python in one video. Uh, the presenter goes kind of fast, but it's a very good um, overview of Python, especially if you're uh, coming into it with already knowing another programming language. Uh, Udemy is uh, a number of uh, courses there uh, for Python as well, uh, similar to Coursera. Um, Udemy is, is kind of a, you know, you can post your own courses. Coursera is more curated, uh, more university courses. Um, and you also have a new one. Uh, this one just came out recently, MIT OpenCourseWare. Uh, there's a YouTube playlist here. And so I'm just going to select that. And uh, you'll see this is a, a good introduction to Python taught by the computer science department. So there's another resource. OK, also reference materials. Uh, these are good if you just have a particular question. Uh, you know, besides Google searching, if you know that you're having a problem with PyPlot, for example, and you just want to see some examples, then go to this PyPlot tutorial. That'll help you generate. Uh, you know, this is some. These are some examples, very simple to more complex on how to generate plots. Very nice resource. Uh, NumPy. NumPy is the package that we use to do some of our uh, math. And uh, so there's the reference manual. Although I don't really recommend that 
reference manual um, uh, for SciPy or for NumPy, I'd actually recommend this this one, the Stack Exchange, uh, Stack Overflow, and a lot of times those will come up as some of the top three options when you do a Google search. Uh, search engine um, will take you to that. Okay, there's also a Python tutorial here. Um, and then for strings, if you need to format a number a certain way or a string, uh, there's a good tutorial there, a cookbook. Okay, we're going to go down through some of the commonly used uh, statements that we use in Python. Um, you can use the if, and then if you have an else if, you do elif, and then the final one would be else. Okay, so those are if statements. Uh, loops are either for or while. If you want a range of integers, you often use those in for loops. Use this range function that has a start and an end. If you want to create a new function, you do the DEF to define a new function name, and then you return values from that function. So you have inputs that come in, and then outputs uh, by returning those values. You can convert uh, certain quantities. Let's say you have an integer, a float, or a string. Use these commands to convert to one or the other. You can create a list in Python. Um, you know, it can be a combination of strings and numbers. If you're doing, going to be doing it in NumPy, then they're typically just numbers. Okay, but if you want to access elements from that list, then uh, the zeroth element is going to be this very first one right here. Okay, if you go uh, negative one, uh, then you're going to go all the way to the very back. Okay, zero, and then the one before that is going to be the last element in the list. You can also slice the list as well. Just take a piece of it. And this one is just going to be two and car. Okay, and you can also create tuples. So tuples or multiples of uh, data that you're going to be maybe feeding into a function. And so you do that with uh, these type of parentheses. Okay, NumPy. NumPy is one that we use a lot in this course. Uh, here are some of the common functions that we're going to be calling in NumPy. Uh, first of all, we're just going to import NumPy as NP. Uh, Linspace helps us get a linearly spaced uh, 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 values between a start and an end point. Uh, we also have empty, zeros, ones. Okay, so it just helps you create some initial uh, vectors or arrays. And then you have a range as well. Takes you from a start to end with an interval. Concatenate, uh, v stack, h stack, sum, max, min, median. Okay, just for some simple simple statistics. Okay, now on to plotting. Um, here's just a quick summary of matplotlib. Uh, we're going to use mostly pyplot in this class, but there are other options as well, and we, even within the matplotlib uh, library. Uh, so we're going to first of all just typically import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. That'll help us shorten it so we don't have to use that big name right here. We can just use plt instead. And then we're going to plot you know, x and y data. Okay, so that's a very simple way to create that. Um, you can also create a pie chart, a bar chart. Uh, you might put some labels on it as well for x and y labels. And then you might want a legend on that plot as well. Okay, so there's PyPlot. Um, and then you also have other uh, packages as well, like random. Uh, and we're going to introduce more in this course. Okay, so I'm going to post this uh, you know, to the course website. Um, here is the, uh, the course website address. And the Python material is right here. We also have uh, material on this uh, course from MATLAB. Excel and uh, and then you know maybe a little bit on Julia that I'll post later. Okay, so uh, we're, this is just kind of getting started. If you're feeling stuck with Python, um, these are some of the resources that you can use. And again, I'll post this. Uh, you know, I'll post this down to the comments below. Um, you know, it, and so it might be worthwhile to check into one of these courses right here if you just need just a little extra material to get you going. Okay, and then once you're uh, going, then it's generally a good idea just to use uh, you know, reference material to just pinpoint exactly the thing that you need.
to solve uh, your problem. Okay, so that concludes uh, this. Uh, come back for more material on Python.